guys so today we are here at the pulse awards and we are here with huh, royalty guys <laughs> so she's going to introduce herself miss world kenya 2022 niki sema ni loyalty i mean it <laughs> hi hi maybe you can just say your names and uh, introduce yourself uh, my name is shantu shantu kwamboka yeah. miss world kenya 2022 2023 and I'll be representing Kenya at Miss World this year in India and let's see how that's gonna go because Kenya wins every year. Okay, so uh, you are an inspiration to many young girls. Okay. How, how, how do you take it? How do you take it uh, to see many young young children, young ladies who want to to aspire to be like you? How do you take it as a as a as a Miss World, someone who has walked in? A, I I can't even explain it. <laughs> How do you take it? Um, it's such an honor. It's really such an honor to be a representative of so many young souls, so many youths, and to be an inspiration. It's a blessing. It's an honor. And it is a responsibility and uh, I feel it's it's time to let everyone know that your dream is valid and everything you aspire you aspire to become or to do is completely possible I did not become I did not become Miss World Kenya just like that it took hard work it took discipline it took prayers and fasting for me from my mom for my friends it took support from my friends so hard work consistency, discipline, prayers is what got me here. And for sure, if you do the same, you could still achieve your aspirations. And it's such an honor. And I'm very open to give advice to anyone who is who wants to be a model or just as a big sister. <laughs> advice on life. Yeah. I'm free, freely open. Okay, and maybe you can tell us uh, for how many years and how for how many years have you been modeling and why decide to model? Why not choose any other career? Why decide to be a model? Uh, well, how many years are those? <laughs> uh, well, I started modeling since I was a kid, I can say. But professionally, I started in high school in Form 1. We used to have uh, an event called Cultural Day. So on Cultural Day, there are very many talents showcased, but then the epitome of the event is modeling, so we compete for Miss Kadika Girls, that's where I went. Shout out to Kadika Girls in Migori County. So yeah, so that's that's where I can say my modeling career started. And then I competed all throughout uh, camp, uh, high school, and then I entered, I, I joined campus, that is Masano University, shout out! So I joined Masano University and I knew, before I joined Masano University, I knew for sure I was going to compete for the Miss of my campus. And so I did, the moment I, I, I joined. So I competed in first year and I became the first runner up Miss Maseno. So since then, since 2017, I have been a cultural coach, I have been coaching uh, aspiring models, I have been a private tutor for models who want to have perfect catwalks. And since then, uh, yeah, that's what I've been doing in the modeling industry. Yeah, so in 2021, I competed for Miss World Kenya for my very first time, and I became the first runners up. So I wanted to come back again in 2023, but then I got an advice from my mentor to, to compete again in 2022, and that's what I did. So on December 10th, 2022, I competed and I won this whole Kenya. It was a dream come true. It's been an honor, it's been a journey. I've been improving as a brand, as a person, as a representative for Kenya. So yeah, showing up is what made me become who I am as Miss Kenya today. And maybe so far you can maybe uh, tell us some of the achievements that you have made. Uh, first of all, being an inspiration, uh, um, getting uh, messages and calls and DMs of young youths telling me um, I'm ins inspiring them, I have an impact on their lives. It's such an honor, it's so heartwarming. I, have, I offer advice, any kind of advice for any questions. Every question that I, I receive, 
I make sure I answer to most of my questions. I, I offer any kind of help. I have numerous projects that I have done since I started modeling, not even as Miss Kenya, since I started modeling as a whole. So I've created so much impact on my community, on mental health. I'm a mental health advocate. I'm just being a woman. It's an achievement. <laughs> Okay, and maybe you can tell us about your education. I understand that you study bio, biochemistry, am I right? I did medical biotechnology okay. with IT yeah. in Maseno University. Um, in high school I was a math and a chemistry and a physics nerd. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm a nerd, I'm a nerd. Outside, outside glamour, I'm a nerd, I'm a computer nerd. Yeah, and I love studying. Um, Real life stories, uh, fictional stories, non fictional stories, motivational stories. Yeah, I'm um, not, and I love to read. Uh, will you maybe go back to school uh, in, to do your PhD, master's? Uh, will you go back to school to do that? Well, yes, I have considered. I have considered doing master's in astrophysics. I want to become an astrophysicist. <laughs> Uh, yes, I am considering uh, going going ahead further with my studies. Uh, for now, I'm still focusing on being Kenya and representing Kenya in India come this December. Yeah. But yeah, after that, I'm going to go back to my medical biotechnology and master astrophysics. How? What is your day-to-day -day life as a Miss World Kenya? That is a big title. What is your day-to-day -day life? Uh, every day is usually very different uh, according to the different activities that I have. <laughs> so for one, this is October, right? I'm leaving Kenya for India next month, November, meaning I have like just one month to prepare to represent Kenya. So my day to day is boot camp. Boot camp consists of physical fitness because there's going to be a sports challenge in Miss World. It, it involves of uh, public speaking classes because there's, there's going to be a head-to-head -head challenge in Miss World. Uh, I still um, advocate for my project, which is Save a Life, through my social media, through having meetings with corporates. So my days working out, meetings, virtual or physical, um, practicing for violin. I am a violinist, a self-taught violinist, and that's what I'm going to present as my talent in this world. So it's training. I wake up, train, eat, sleep, pray, repeat. Yes. Just, just, just training, 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 training. Yes. I, this, this time mm -hmm. is for Africa and for Kenya. This yeah. world is Kenya 2020. Uh, maybe a word of advice, and uh, maybe just say uh, uh, just something to your fans. Uh, because people love you. Maybe something to them and maybe just a word of advice as we finish. Uh, I love you so much and thank you so much for the support that you've given me this far. I do not take it for granted for sure. And my advice to you will be to show up from my own experience, <laughs> from my own experience in showing up again in 2022 to compete for something that I performed very well in the previous year was so much pressure, was a challenge, but I showed up. What if I, I, I told myself, no, I'm not going to compete again this year, I'm going to, to compete next year as initially, as what I initially planned. What if I didn't show up, you know? Somebody else would have been standing here. So my advice for you is to, is to show up. And I'd also like to ask for your support as I'm competing for Kenya. Right now, I am not just Shantu, I am Kenya. I am usually a, represent, a representation of Kenya to the world. So I'd request for you to follow me on my socials at Shantu underscore Kwamboka. And I'll update you on how more you could support me for my project and create an impact and make the world a better place. Wish you all the best. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for your time.